Hello guys, I'm Bethany and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you're here and I'm so excited about today's video. I say that in every video, but I'm especially excited because as you can tell, I've decorated for Christmas. It is Christmas, it's the holidays, and when you're watching this, I think it's December 1st. So happy December 1st. I hope you are having a great holiday season so far. I am so excited. I love the holidays and I can't wait for all the videos to come on my channel. If you want to see me decorate for Christmas, my last video was my Christmas decorate with me and I put up the tree, all that good stuff, and it's super fun. So I will link that video below if you want to watch it. I had so much fun editing it, I'm putting it together and filming it, and I actually used my like big camera that I use for weddings, like when I shoot weddings because I'm a photographer, I use that for some of the clips, so I think the video just turned out really good and I'm really proud of it. So I'll link that below, but today I'm going to be sharing my Christmas wish list. I'm so excited, I love doing these videos. I did one last year and it was a ton of fun and I love watching them, so I thought I would do that in today's video. The majority of this list is things that I want that I'm asking for or I would love to get on Christmas. Christmas. Obviously, I don't expect to get all of these things. These are just ideas of things that I would want for Christmas or something like that. And then I have a few things that I just love so much that you should ask for Christmas because I have them and I love them and you need them. So also I will link all these things that I mentioned below. So the first thing that I want for Christmas is a Dutch oven. This is kind of funny. I feel like once you get older, you just want practical things. But I really want a Dutch oven specifically for making sourdough because if you watch my vlogs, you know I like to make sourdough. And I really want a Dutch oven. That's usually what people cook it in, but I use my crock pot. And I really would just like a Dutch oven to be able to cook sourdough in that. It probably wouldn't make much difference on the cooking process, but it would just make my life easier and I won't have to use aluminum foil. I can just use the lid on the Dutch oven and it'll just make my life easier. So I found one at Target, it's super cute, it's cream and adorable. So yeah, I really would like that. And then also on the sourdough train, I really want a sourdough kit. It comes with bannetons that you can put the dough in when you're letting it proof. It comes with a dough scraper and then also razor blades to make designs on the dough. And it might come with some other stuff, but I really want that because I feel like it would also make the sourdough experience even better because I would be able to accurately store the dough while it's proofing and I would also be able to make cute designs and use a dough scraper which would make my life so much easier so really want that as well super practical things for the kitchen so the next thing I really want that I think would really elevate my life is a bath tray which kind of sounds funny I feel like I'm such an adult but I love to read in the bath I love just to have a relaxing bath and I'm always afraid that I'm gonna get my book wet or get like my phone wet or something like that and it would be nice just to have a tray to put all of my things on and I would be able to like take a paperback book in the bath because sometimes I don't like to do that because I'm afraid it's gonna get wet so I just bring my, my Kindle but it would be really nice to have a bath tray specifically for that there's a lot of different ones but I found one on Amazon I really like that has like compartments you can put like a cup and your phone and like it has like a thing where you can put a book and it just looks really nice so I really would like that for Christmas next is kind of like a random thing that I probably won't actually ask for I just thought it would be like a fun thing to have and that is a record player there's so many different ones that you can get I don't know where I would put it but I found one on Urban Outfitters that's really cute that I really like but it's quite expensive so Probably won't get that, probably won't ask for it, but I think it would be fun to get a record player because I love music and I think it'd be fun to kind of have that vibe, like a record player vibe, you know, and buy records for it. I don't know, it sounds fun. The next thing on my Christmas wish list is an espresso machine. So we do have an espresso and we love it. I got it a few years ago and I love it. I've gotten so much use out of it and we still use it, we love it. Nothing's wrong with it, but I really want to get an espresso machine where I can make espresso shots and steam the milk. I really want the Breville one, but it's so expensive, so that's probably not gonna happen. But I found one on Amazon that's less than $200. It's currently on sale and the reviews are really good. So I really would like that and also the accessories that come with it. So, or it doesn't come with it. I really want the accessories that don't come with it. A stamper, some shot glasses for the espresso, espresso shots, and then um, a frothing pitcher or whatever to froth the milk. So I want a, an espresso machine and espresso machine and the accessories to go with that just to elevate our coffee experience and then also just like coffee beans from a local coffee shop that we love here. And I just think that would be great. I love coffee and I love making it. I actually serve in my cafe at church and I've done it for years and I feel like I've gotten good at making lattes and things like that. So I think it'd be fun to have one and maybe also learn how to do latte art. So I think that would be really fun and also kind of be a stepping stone to getting the Rebel one probably years down the line, but I really want that. I think that would be such a great gift. Next is a book. I actually have a couple of books that I want specifically, but any kind of book, 
I would love but first is Lisa Turker's new book it's called Good Boundaries and Goodbyes I'm pretty sure I almost bought it like a week ago but I decided I would ask for it for Christmas so I really want that book and then also really want the rest of the Shatter Me series I bought the first book and then I read the second book or like the novella on my Kindle and I would just really like to have the rest of the series it's a pretty long series I think there's six full books and like three novellas or four novellas or something like that so it's pretty long but I really want the rest of the series because I'm really enjoying it and it would be nice to have it as a gift so I could just read the whole series at once and really binge it. That's the plan. So I would love to get that for Christmas or just a gift card to buy that. Next is something that I really need and that is a new purse. So I've had this Kate Spade purse for years. I love it so much. My parents got it for me a couple of years ago and it's the best but the zipper has broken and basically it is no longer usable. So I've been using a tote bag pretty much everywhere I go, but it's kind of annoying because sometimes you just want like a nice purse to take with you. So I really like a new purse, not even an expensive one, just a decently like cheap one maybe from Target or something, like a crossbody brown purse, just simple. And that'd be great because I do not have one and I really need one. That's something that I just need that I don't have. That's not really like something that I want. I mean, I want a purse, but like I also just need it. You know what I mean? And then the last thing, probably everyone and their mother is asking for or already has, and that is the Ugg dupe slippers off Amazon. One of my friends bought them like recently and she loves them. So they'd be great to wear around the house, also to go places because they're so cute. And I definitely don't want to spend money on the regular Uggs. <laughs> That's too expensive with the dupes on Amazon, maybe. But I don't know if I'll ask for that, but it would just be a nice gift to have because I see everyone wearing them and they look so cute and so comfy. And I love comfy shoes and being cozy. So that is the last thing on my like actual wish list that I don't already have. But now I'm gonna share a few things that I already have that you need that you should ask for. The first thing no one's going to be surprised by and that is my Stanley Cup. You need a Stanley Cup in your life. They're the best. I got my first one for Christmas last year and then I bought this pink one maybe a few months after the new year because I loved the pink color and I'm obsessed with it. The only thing is this one I got, I'm setting it down because there's water in it and you can hear that. But the thing about this is we got it when they didn't have the like toppers to where it like keeps the water from coming out. So if I knock this over, water goes everywhere. But now they make Stanley 40 ounces where there's like a stopper and it will not spill when you knock it over. So that's great. So you should get that. I think they are in stock right now. I don't know if they still will be when I post this video, but hopefully they will be and I'll link them below, but you need them. Like everyone talks about them and you're probably like over it, but truly you need one of these. Like you will drink so much more water. They're so cute and I'm just obsessed. So I really want the one that has the stopper in the cup, but I also just really love the color that I have now. And they're just really great. Like they're pretty expensive. I think they're like $40 maybe, something like that. But they're so worth every penny because I literally use them so much. And if I'm washing this one, I'm using my other one. So I'm always using a Stanley. They're the best. I literally take it with me everywhere. I don't care if it's bulky. It's going with me everywhere because I drink so much water and it's so nice. And I also put ice in it. So it's literally kept cold all day long. If it's in your cup holder, it's just the best. It's huge, but it's the best. So I highly highly suggest you get one of those if you don't already have one. The next thing is something that I got last year for Christmas and I feel like was like the 2021 gift for Christmas and that is a five minute journal by um, Intelligent Change. I love this. I finished using it all. Like I used all the pages and I didn't get another one but I did really enjoy it. I thought it was really great and you're able to just write down your thoughts and you're able to look back on what you wrote down. It's very helpful if you want to start journaling so I really recommend it. I love it and I'm so glad that I got it for Christmas last year because it was great and also feel like it's great for the new year because you're able to kind of start the new year on like a new note with a new notebook you know what I mean? So the next thing I got a couple years ago for Christmas and that is the New Morning Mercies devotional by Paul David Tripp. I don't have it currently because I let my dad borrow it but I love it so so much it's a great devotional and I feel like if you're starting in your faith or if you just want a new devotional or if you want to start the year with a devotional you should definitely get it because it's a yearly one so it goes from January 1st to December 31st I love it so much it has scripture it has a long passage it has a point at the top about what the devotional is about each day and I love it I think I might use it again next year because I just love it and I highly recommend it and it's pretty inexpensive on Amazon. Next is a very fun thing. It is a piece of clothing and that is this teddy coat or any teddy coat. It doesn't have to be this one obviously, but this is the one I've gotten most recently. I actually thrifted it and I'm obsessed with it. But I think teddy coats are just such great gifts because they're so cute, so comfy, so warm, and you can get them in so many different colors, price ranges, and they're the best. So I highly suggest a teddy coat. If you don't have one, you should ask for one because they're the best. Oh, I dropped my phone. <laughs> And then the last thing is a kitchen item and that is my glass jars and glass straws. I got these for Christmas a couple years ago and I love them so much. It comes with four. This is the, I think 16 ounce, I think. 
They do have a bigger one, but I have the 16 ounce one, I think. And then these are the gloss straws, and I love them so much. You probably see them on my videos all the time. I make coffee in them. They're just the best, and they're so, so cute. So highly recommend both of these things. You should get them or ask for them for Christmas because they're the best. But that is it for my Christmas wish list video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got a gift idea out of this or something that you want to ask for for Christmas or something to get someone for Christmas. Get ready for all kinds of holiday content coming up very soon. I'm not doing vlogmas, but I'm trying to post as much as I can in the month of December. I'm like batching content, filming a bunch of videos, vlogging a ton, all that stuff because I want to post as much as I can in December for you. I'm also doing reading vlogs, holiday content with reading and all that good stuff, holiday book recommendations maybe, all kinds of stuff coming very soon on this channel. So be sure to subscribe if you want to watch. I usually post on Tuesdays and Saturdays, but honestly in the month of December, who really knows what I'm gonna post? I'm gonna try to post at least three times a week, maybe more, who really knows? So subscribe, get ready for the holiday content coming. And I thought I would start it off by December 1st because it is December, it is holiday season, it is Christmas and I'm so excited. So anyways, you can follow me on Instagram. I also have a bookstagram and I post mostly on my bookstagram and it's just a great time over there. I post book content, but I also post on my stories just randomly of whatever's going on in my life because I feel like I have such a great community and like so many friends on that account and it's just so fun to post. So follow me over there, but also have just fun, normal content of like fall and the holidays, Thanksgiving, all that stuff on my regular Instagram. So you can follow that as well. But I think that's it. I am so thankful for you. Thank you so much. I didn't say this in my last video for Thanksgiving, but thank you so much, or not my last video, but my video before. My video that I posted before thank or after Thanksgiving. Anyways, I never said in that video how thankful I am for you. I truly feel so blessed, so lucky to get to film these videos and that people wanna watch them and watch my content and subscribe and follow me. It's literally insane to me. It feels like a dream. So I'm so, so thankful for you. You literally are the best and I hope you had the best Thanksgiving. If you celebrate, I know in Canada they celebrate a little early, but I'm so thankful for all of you and I feel so lucky. So thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon for my next video. Bye. Thank you.